henna through with my fingertips. Oh, how am I gonna get this evenly on the head? It looks a little thick. Henna is not really supposed to be that thick. Love that you're actually using your hands to, you know, bring the henna through the hair. I'm excited. Where do I even begin? There's so much excitement in this video. The amount of times that this has been requested of me is measurable and I can barely keep my excitement in. Henna hair dye. Mysterious alternative to traditional chemical based hair dyes. And I have it with me today. One of the things that I read when I was researching and gathering as much information for how to dye my hair with henna was that the process is incredibly messy. So I'm being very cautious right now because I do have an open packet of all natural 100% henna powder, which is made from the henna plant. It is beautiful. And what matches my outfit? Unintentional, but cute. This is henna. Botanical name, Lasagna inermis. Common names being henna, mehandi, or mendi. What I have with me today is pure henna powder. You can mix it to create a combination of different dyes. Today, I'm aiming for hair dye. Henna, also known as hina, is an evergreen and flowering plant. Many people associate henna's origin with India as it forms an integral tradition of Indian weddings. However, the origin of henna when using it for beauty purposes was actually in Egypt. The art of body henna art has been around for centuries. It is believed to bring love, good fortune, and prosperity and protect the wearer against evil. There are three different types of henna and if you've ever spiraled down the wormhole that is henna, art, hair dye, and whatever, probably notice that you will be advised to stay away from one specific type. Natural henna, also known as red henna, produces a rich brown stain that can darken in the days after it is applied. It is a pure form of henna made directly from the henna plant. You can use it to stain your skin or also to dye your hair. Neutral henna does not release any dye. It is not made from the plant henna, it is instead made from Senna Italica, but you can use it when you want to just condition your hair without dyeing it. One henna that you might have read to stay away from because it contains ingredients that can cause pretty severe reactions is black henna. Black henna is derived from indigo and can contain unlisted dyes and chemicals such as PPD. If you still want to go for that all black effect, use only pure indigo. Today I'm going to be dyeing my hair, my bus cut, my very short one eighth of an inch, I have no idea actually how long it is. A few millimeters. It's pure 100% natural henna. And I cannot be more excited. I found online that there are a couple, actually quite a few different mixtures that you can actually combine to create different dyes for different end results. Some of them do seem to have the same components, however you can change out some for others depending on what end result you want. Obviously, because I have never done this before, I definitely wanted to do my research, make sure I got everything correctly, and make sure I can give you guys the best information if you want to dye your hair with henna. You might be wondering, why is it better to dye your hair with henna versus something that is more traditionally used in hair salons, like permanent or semi-permanent hair dyes? First of all, it gives a really gorgeous, rich red color. Rich color that does tend to show up even on darker hair tone. Aside from that, here are some other perks that henna has. It can maintain your scalp health, antifungal and antimicrobial. It also balances pH levels and oil production. It prevents hair fall and promotes hair growth. It also helps the hair grow faster and improves the texture of your hair. So not only do you get the hair dyeing aspect, you also get a very, very lovely, incredible nourishing experience along with it. Before we go into the actual dye tutorial, if you do want to learn more about henna and see more of the benefits, you can actually follow this article that I am getting most of this information from, from Kama Ayurveda. I'm going to link it down below. It is also where I got my mix for my henna from. I went with Dabi's Finest. I got these from Amazon. It does seem like it is an incredible 100% pure henna powder. How do we mix the dye? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. In a heat proof bowl, I started out by putting out 100 grams of henna or four tablespoons. In the meantime, I started boiling some water because I was going to brew some tea. So the way that henna works is that you're going to need some form of an acidic component to add to your henna to activate the dye component called Lawson that gives the orange color. You do need something like tea, coffee, or lemon juice to activate the Lawson within the powder to give a beautiful orange color. 
You might be wondering, what tea can I use? My combination, I ended up going with chamomile tea. This was the tea that was most widely recommended because it is the one that was going to give the most true, beautiful, kind of copper, orange, brown henna that I think many people of us are familiar with. But you can use black tea if you want to darken your henna and have more of a dark brunette copper. Or you can go with a ruy... Rubos, Rusbo. I can never say that this one, the berry tea, to give it a more red tone. To brew your tea, you're going to start adding that to your henna powder in small increments. You are looking for a pretty thick texture to boost the vibrancy even more. I added a tiny bit of lemon juice. Alternatively, you can mix it also with coffee. Once you have it all mixed up, it does tell you to cover it with saran wrap and you have to let it rest. I was going to dye my hair yesterday, but I was really tired, so I went with the overnight option. Here is what it looks like. It does say that freshly washed hair is the best, so I did actually go ahead and wash my hair right now. Now it's time to apply it to our hair. I am wearing a very pretty yellow dress that I do actually really like and respect. I'm gonna go change into my dye tank top, and then I'm gonna be back for this extremely extremely fun video. Give me a sec. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, I thought I could actually just dye my hair plain and straight with henna and get like a beautiful copper color. But A, didn't think it would actually look that great on a buzz cut, on a buzz cut. B, it's a tiny bit underwhelming for me. Stella. I have a buzz cut to actively try designs, patterns, and textures on my hair, so I'm not about to just go on with like, with a color. So, I'm actually going to be attempting doing Mendy or Henna art, but not on my arm, on my hair. I think I did it. My very first henna comb. This thing is about to pop off at any second, so... Okay! I doubt I'll be good, but I do want to try it, so let's go! Should it be higher? I feel like it should be higher. I admit it, working with henna as hair as your medium, difficult. This is the best design that I was able to get with my very limited skill. I'm not unhappy with it, but it's, it's definitely choppier, simplistic than I had in mind. Regardless, I'm actually pretty happy with the design itself. I think it still looks fun. I think it's still can look okay. I'm gonna leave this on for like a few hours and then wash it off and see what it does. I feel like doing a small design on my hand because I feel like so.
I got this on for an hour and look how already bright it is. This is only gonna get darker with time. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Can I be fully honest? I was convinced that I it would look shit. It would look shit, that I wouldn't penetrate. I wasn't entirely sure what tone of, of color it would pick up, whether it would be kind of a more muted orange, whether it would be more vibrant. I didn't have too much hopes, but I'm like, let me wash it off and turn out good. I just never released the video. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I think it looks so interesting. There's obviously very clearly an idea of a pattern going on. There is some design definitely there. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if you don't like it. I don't care if you say it's messy or choppy or not perfected. I don't care. I'm so happy with how it looks. I think the color that it ended up picking up was so, is so stunning. I did not anticipate such a beautifully bright orange. And I'm sorry. I can just, oh my God, I can imagine like really long blonde hair dyed with henna and it would just pick up the most beautiful copper tone ever. I genuinely urge you to at least look into the art of henna hair dyeing as well as henna body art dyeing. It is such a beautiful method of coloring. If you do want kind of like a supernatural, easy to do at home hair color that, that will give an insane brilliance and health and nourishment to your hair, I would consider henna. As always, with any new procedure, please do a, a swatch test or a, an allergy test on the inside of your elbow or behind your ear. 24 to 48 hours before you're planning on dyeing your hair just to make just to make sure you're obviously not allergic or intolerant to any of the ingredients there is an incredibly fantastic article written all about the traditions of henna what they're good for what benefits henna has and, and as well what kind of different dyes and masks you are able to create with them i'm going to link it down below and full credit goes towards them for all the information in this video i'm going to link down below the amazon link from where i got my henna they it seemed to perform super well the entire powder looked super super natural so if you're looking for a very natural pure henna powder i do think it was a good alternative everything is going to be down below for your knowledge please let me know what you think of this idea would you dye your hair with henna i am so so curious i do definitely think that if i had longer hair i would give this a go even in the future because i genuinely it was such a refreshing process and it's such a completely different thing to what i normally do so i'm actually super stoked with it if you like this video give it a like comment down below and subscribe to the channel to join the stellar fam i absolutely love 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 seeing more of you join and if you have any fun ideas that you'd want me to thrive please do not hesitate to leave it down below as well as any questions that you have about the art of hair hair dyeing and hair styling i'm always eager to answer or any of your questions i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you will give it a go and i will see you in my next video bye babies